Hey, in this quick video around AI animation, I wanted to share a couple of bits of 3D AI animation news. Firstly, from Cascadeur, who for a long time have been the creators of this awesome app where you can pose a character and it will use AI to create the in-betweens and apply physics to create some really awesome motion, which you can then take into your 3D package or a game engine. They've now rolled out an iOS app so you can make use of Cascadeur on your iPhone or an iPad and still combine it with the power of the desktop app as well. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And the second bit of news, if you don't mind a bit of self-publicity, is that I've just rolled out a brand new 3D AI animation course where I share two full 3D AI production processes. So I'll share more of that in a moment. Okay, on with the video. Okay, so first of all, Cascadeur, as mentioned, have got a new mobile app and I can click and move a character around to create some cool motion and then it can work with the desktop app if you're on the right tier program. And you can try this out for free today. I think I'm gonna have to annoy my son and steal my old iPad Pro back off him sometime very, very soon. It is very cool though, and they've taken most of the loved features from the desktop version and slimmed those down to work within a mobile UI. First up, we have AI auto posing, and this is like a smart rig feature powered by advanced neural networks and AI, and it helps you create natural lifelike poses with just a few taps. They've included finger controls to make animating fingers easy and precise. You can drop in a video reference to help guide you as you pose your character rig. It also has a augmented reality feature so you can drop your character into a real world scenario, which is kind of fun. Plus they've also included auto physics, which is an awesome feature enabling you to create lifelike motion on your characters while still maintaining the control and the integrity of your original animation. And there's some other essential tools like trajectories, ghosts, tween machine, and you can use IK and FK interpolation on your character rigs. Nice. So there we go, a very cool AI-assisted app, which I'm definitely going to be installing on my son's iPad once I've stolen that back. And I really like the idea of just being able to escape the desktop and play around with 3D AI animation ideas from your sofa, whilst you're on a commute, and things like that. This isn't a sponsored promo, by the way. It's just I heard news of the new app and thought it was worth sharing. Um, plus, I've been playing around with Cascada a lot, learning much more about the desktop version of the software. So I will be trying out that and the mobile version much more. Um, but yeah, if you are interested, I believe you can head over to the App Store today and download it for free. Plus, there are, of course, some paid subscriptions you can try out if you want to go for pro features, as well as tying it in with that desktop version. So, well done, Cascada. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, and lastly, very quickly, I wanted to mention the brand new 3D AI animation course, which you can find over on AIanimation.com, where I take you through two different workflows, where you'll design a character using mid-journey, generate some character animation via motion capture using AI or text motion using AI, and then applying your character image onto that motion and compositing it with a 3D background, plus the second workflow where you'll actually generate a full 3D character from an initial image, joining the best parts of different generations to create your final mesh, rigging it via Blender, and then taking it into the desktop version of Cascadeur to bring it to life via that motion capture animation. And I'll show you how you can clean up that animation via Cascadeur as well, which is a fantastic feature, before bringing it all together to create a final scene. Um, and I'll touch on lots of tips and tricks throughout the course. And hopefully it will introduce you to some new 3D AI tools, as well as touch on some more traditional 3D digital animation techniques and compositing approaches using Adobe After Effects. All right, uh, thanks very much. I actually need to run, so I've done this last bit of video very quickly. Um, as always, please press like, subscribe, and leave any comments below. Have an awesome day. Cheers. On this night when shadows creep, spirits wake from endless sleep. Once the Celts with fires bright, kept ghosts at bay throughout the night. Samhain called the dead to roam, searching for their earthly home. Masks were worn to hide in fear as winter's chill drew ever near. Then Hallow's Eve was born, a holy night to greet the morn. But still we dress and still we play, for ghosts walk free on Halloween.
In the echoes of late night grooves Memories of vinyl, the way it moves Chasing the dawn through the static spike The city's whispers in the dim street light Turn up the sound and feel the fire Lost in the rhythm we won't tire Our souls alive in midnight choir Indie beats and hearts conspire Chasing dreams on the dance floor Indie hearts beat forevermore It's a weekend. We made it. Well done. I'm on a horse. 